Make sure you get the uh, the Emmy in here, Adam. I'm not sure if there's room. Wait till you win one. You'll f find room. Uh, Claire, the painter's being difficult again. Oh, it's, I, yes. Uh, hi, I'm Graydon Carter, and I'm pleased to introduce you to the June issue of Vanity Fair. Our cover story this month is an exclusive excerpt from Thurston Clark's forthcoming book on Kennedy's improbable and courageous run for the White House. It's hugely moving and shows how this wonderful man somehow turned his brother's death into a generation's cry for hope. And staying within the same era, we have a, an amazing excerpt uh, from Michael Dobbs' new book um, called One Minute to Midnight. And this involves an American U-2 spy plane pilot, and he went over Russian airspace by accident at a time when the uh, planes were armed with nuclear warheads rather than conventional warheads. And as he got further and further over to Russian airspace, the Russians sent up MiGs to shoot him down, and the Americans had to scramble their planes to protect him. But they were, as I say, they were carrying uh, nuclear warheads on board. And this is the closest the United States has ever come to a, any kind of nuclear conflict with the uh, Soviet Union. It's an amazing uh, excerpt. Also this month, we have um, a story on Miley Cyrus. You might have heard about it. But the story itself is uh, absolutely terrific. It's by Bruce Handy. And uh, she seems like a girl with a um, uh, head on her shoulders, bare shoulders in this case. Uh, but parents, rest easy. We think Cyrus is going to make it through adolescence and this issue. It's been five years since James Fry's best-selling memoir, A Million Little Pieces, led him to first to fame and then on to an international reputation as a liar. Our star reporter of Genia Peretz lands the first interview with Fry since Oprah ripped him into A Million Little Pieces on her couch. I'm pleased to tell you this month we'll also be running an exclusive excerpt from the latest memoir of the country's favorite interviewer, Barbara Walters, one of the most important female journalists of our time. Walters shows some leg this month and tells about her transition from the Today Show to the Evening News, a transition that Katie Couric will tell you is no walk in the park. Uh, so that's our June issue, and we've got a lot more in it. And uh, before I close, I'd just like to thank the, uh, the wonderful Vanity Fair Orchestra. Mm -hmm.